In this example, we're going to design a circuit using an op amp that implements the following input output relationship or an equation in which our output voltage VO is equal to 5V1 plus 4V2 minus 2V3. And we're going to show it two ways to solve this design problem. Again, there are many solutions to this. I'm just going to show you two ways in solving this problem. So let's rewrite VO as follows. So VO is equal to minus 5 times minus V1 minus 4 minus V1 V2 sorry minus 2 times B, V3 so this relationship is just rewritten of our original equation shown here because what we're going to do in this first design this first design we're going to use up inverting op amps okay so let's draw a block diagram of this input output relationship so here we have VO okay and it's going to consist of basically three inputs V1, V2 and V3 okay so we're going to have a summer right here here and here now we're going to take that VO is going to consist of this first term minus 5 V2, V1 so here we have V1 we're going to invert that so that's multiplied by negative V1 and then we're going to multiply this again by negative 5 and the output of this gain inverting gain will feed into this summer here okay so we'll put a plus here to indicate that it's a summer so that's for V1 now for V2 we're going to invert V2 so that's negative 1 and we're gonna invert it with a gain of minus 4 and therefore this is our second input to VO or the summer. And then finally we have V3. We're not going to invert it this time except we're going to invert it with a gain of minus 2. So here's our three terms. So here's our uh, summer with the three inputs consisting of these three terms. So it's V1 times V5 because negative 1 times negative 5 is uh, 5 V1 so the output of this is 5 V1 as shown here in the first term here V2 is negative 1 times negative 4 is 4 so that's 4 V2 as our second input to the summer and then finally here we have the output of this gain of negative 2 is just simply negative 2 V3. So when you add up all these terms that's give us as an output here as 5 V1 plus 4 V2 minus 2 V3. So that's our block diagram implementation and now the next figure will show you how it's implemented in terms of using op amps. In other this is how our circuit is going to be realized to implement this input output relationship or equation. So here's our circuit implementation of this equation 5v1 plus 4v2 minus 2v3 and we wrote, wrote it again as you recall as our output voltage as minus 5 times minus v1 minus 4 times minus V2 minus 2 times V3. So here's our first inverting gain. We have a ratio of 10k over 10k or a gain of negative 1 here. So here we have a gain of negative 1 for V1 and V2 we have the same thing 10k over 10k is 1 and since this is an inverting amplifier it's a gain of negative 1 as well and then for V3 we don't multiply it right here and we're gonna amplify it in terms of our summer so here 
here's our summer configuration denoted by this dashed green line all right and we have in our feedback resistor of 50k and our input resistor here is 10k and again this is a op amp configuration so 50k over 10k is a gain of minus 5 so minus 5 times minus 1 for V1 is 5 so this is for our first term of our output our second term V2 again it has a gain of negative 1 but it's 12.5 is our input resistor our feedback again is 50 so 50 divided by 12.5 is a gain for V2 of negative 4 so negative 4 times negative 1 here is equal to 4 so that's our second term and then finally 50k divided by 25k has a gain of 2 since this is inverting it's for V3 it's a gain I mean not put equal just put it the colon so gain for V3 in the summer is a is minus 2 all right so for V1 in, in here, it's a gain of, we'll put a minus just to show. So minus V1 is the input to this summer, has a gain of minus 5. So minus 1 times minus 5 is 5. For V2, minus V2 times minus 4 is a plus 4. And a 1 times a minus 2 is a negative 2. So here's our circular implementation for this first design using inverting op amps. And then ne uh, the next video will show you the second design to implement this equation or input-output relationship.